Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Darren Corbett and I'm tired. I'll be honest, uh, this last year due to COVID, I've been working from home in this little home office here for my daytime job doing marketing. And this last week, I've actually just returned to the office. Been a bit of a shock to the system, to be honest, especially as I haven't actually stepped foot in the office before that. I actually got the job during COVID, but we move. I'm tired, but I really wanted to sit down and, and film a YouTube video today for myself, uh, get a POV done and then speak to you guys because I've, I've missed it. So before we get into the POV, I'm going to announce the 1K camera strap giveaway winner. If you haven't entered or you're watching this video late and you're not really interested in the giveaway, then skip to this time in the video and it will take you straight through to the POV. But for all of you that are here to see if you have won the competition, Let's get into it. So we're gonna chuck on a phone screen recording thing. We're gonna go to this YouTube generator, comment picker, whatever you wanna call it. Copy and paste the video where you'll enter your comments. What we'll do is we'll filter duplicate users. You could only enter once. Get YouTube comments and that's about 35 people that have entered. So if you entered, pretty good odds right now. And we're going to start now. All right, here we go. So this is the winner, Adventures with B. And he says, great job on, on hitting the 1K milestone. There's his Instagram. And then my good deed for the day was helping my best friend get into content creation by recommending her a first camera, which is the Sony ZV-1. Solid, solid good deed. I love that you're getting somebody else into content creation. It's always good to, to share your knowledge and get more people into the industry. So congratulations on winning the camera strap. I will be in touch if I haven't been in touch already. You're gonna go through, pick a camera strap of your choice and then I'm gonna get it sent off to you uh, within the next couple of days, hopefully, and you should receive it pretty quickly. So thank you to everyone who entered. It was amazing reading all of the good deeds in the comments. Uh, really sorry for everyone that didn't win. And if I could, I would give a camera strap to all of you. Like seriously, I would, I would love to do that. Um, but I can't right now, but I will do more future giveaways. So that is me right now. That is the talking head section of the video. And then I'm gonna go and record the voiceover now for the POV that you're about to see. So thank you again, everyone for entering. I really needed all the good comments. I needed that all to cheer me up because I haven't had the best week and a half, as you might know, if you've seen my community tab. Um, so yeah, all, all of your support just means so much to me and I can't believe I hit 1K. And we're over like, we're like a hundred over now, which is just amazing. So thank you very much. And yeah, enjoy the POV with an 85 millimeter, which spoiler alert, I love. See you soon with another video. All right, bye. Welcome back to another POV. I'm shooting on an 85mm today. It's the Canon RF 85mm f2 and I got this microphone like a few months ago, like in the middle of lockdown and I, I've only really used it for a POV YouTube session like once. I'll link that video up here. So I felt like I really haven't gotten out and, and shot some street photography with it. So I really, really enjoyed this session. I only was shooting for about 20 minutes. Uh, I finished work, went straight into town and started shooting. But honestly, I felt like I loved every photo that I was getting out of it, just because I love that 85 mil focal length. You'll also notice that throughout the session, I'm shooting pretty much wide open. There are some times when I um, go to like f.6 or f.8, but I'm shooting wide open because that's how I like to shoot. So you'll notice that the shutter speeds are cranked right up. I think sometimes they go to like one over 1250. There's one like one over 1000. And the reason they're so high is because obviously if you're shooting wide open, you're letting all that light in. So you have to compensate with that somewhere else. So I like to keep my eyes so low, obviously. So if that's low and you're shooting wide open, then your shutter speed will have to be cranked really high. Hope that makes sense. I'm sure it does to most of you, but I think it's, it's a good idea to kind of explain why some of my sayings are the way that they are. So yeah, I haven't shot in the market with this particular lens. It was quite nice lighting. Like it was probably about quarter past five. 
and the way that the light was coming through the market and hitting people's faces and creating shadows on the ground i just really really liked but i know i've been into the market a few times on the videos but i'm not gonna stop coming here guys i love it and especially i want to come back on a weekend soon with the 85 mil again or the fuji film because it's just a great environment and a great place for street photography so here I see this pigeon on the floor and I kind of like that there was no one around. So I kind of just got this shot of this pigeon. You know, I thought it was great, artistic. Could have put it in black and white. But as I'm walking down here, I see this worker to my right. She's working in the kitchen. So I quickly just fire off a couple shots here um, and I put them in black and white because I think they work really, really well. It's probably my favorite set of photos from the shoot. I use the kind of stall on the left to create that haze that bit of depth and yeah really happy with it i couldn't get the color to work that well but i thought it just popped in black and white anyway so i'm quite happy i couldn't get it to work but i noticed that the sky just looked incredibly blue it was just such a beautiful day and i felt like that created like a nice contrast against these white buildings up ahead and in norwich there's quite a lot of nice looking buildings if that makes sense great great describing darren nice looking buildings so um i took some photos of those and and then i got some photos of some people in the foreground as well just to add some context to the shot and just i guess that makes it kind of street photography if there's a person in it i'm not saying that qualifies as street photography just because there's a person in it but i like that you're adding like more of a context to, to the scene if that makes sense I see this guy walking here and I really like these shots that I fire off. I like this one where he's like in his stride. Just really like the colours of the building behind. I uh, like the compression of the shot and yeah, just overall really happy with that. And I saw this guy sitting on this bench and I clocked him like a few minutes before. And I knew I wanted to get some photos of him so I kind of walk a little bit closer. And then get this shot, which I really like. Um, looking back, I wish I would have... Um, gone more open to f2 so i would have got more of that blurry background but i still think it looks like a good shot i'm just kind of walking around looking for some subjects seeing what kind of catches my eye and um, taking more photos of this building here because i love the red flag and how it looks with the cloud behind it and uh, as I'm walking, I see this woman walking to my left and she's got like, this, this amazingly colourful hair. So I make sure to snap that up. And it's just really sharp and really nice. Um, I noticed that the 85mm was focusing pretty quickly, like more quickly than what I'm uh, used to it focusing. I know that some people have said that they've had problems with this 85mm because obviously it's a, it has macro capabilities so it can sometimes be a little bit slow to focus but I flip the switch to the middle option which is I think it's like 0.5 to infinity and since doing that it just focused like so much quicker. Obviously if I were to take some macro shots in this session then I'd have to flip the switch back um, but I didn't have to do that and most of the time I'm not shooting macro so I can keep that switched right there in the middle. I really like those shots of the guy uh, emerging in the light. He's kind of like cut in half by the shadows uh, and then I obviously see this guy here with the yellow shirt, the red jumper and then I like there's green in the top right as well. Like if you don't know green and yellow are the football colours for Norwich with the canaries, whatever that means i don't watch too much football but i thought it was quite nice i saw this girl sat there uh, she was sat there the whole time i was doing the session pretty much and i wanted to kind of move closer to the wall to kind of get more of that leading lines kind of like to separate her a little bit more from the crowd i really like that she was just sat there just reading a book just finding her piece then of course i had to get photos of this skater guy i'm really happy i had such a high shutter speed for this because i just froze every single movement of his so this is me just stealing some of my girlfriend's iced coffee she was waiting um just drinking coffee the whole time uh whilst i was shooting she doesn't usually come out with me but um as i've been feeling a little nervous and a bit out of practice she said she'd come into town with me so appreciate your 
moral support as always you've been perfection so i see this colorful uh, shop and i've waited here for a while which you don't see well a few minutes anyway waiting for the perfect color match and i just feel like i get lucky so often with color matches so i saw this woman coming she's got this green dress just waited for it to be there and snap 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 perfect color match so thank you to you woman whoever you are and i'm sure you won't ever see this video but really appreciate your color matching so here you'll see that I'm shooting at f8 and that's because I wanted to capture more of this scene in focus. I kind of just wanted to capture more of town, more of the people that are walking around. But with him still kind of being the main subject, like he's definitely the sharpest. But yeah, that's why I'm at f8 for that. Here I am texting my girlfriend again because she's saying that she's really, really cold waiting. <laughs> it was a cold day, but she got an iced coffee rather than a hot coffee. So you know, do the math on that, Rosie. So I turn around and then I start shooting in the markets again because I see uh, this person wearing red and God, I love it when people wear red, especially in the market because you've got that limey, is it not lime, but you know, that bluey green color there contrasted with a red. And then obviously the orange and red signs above, just think that looks really nice. And obviously I use the walls to the left as a little bit of depth again i like doing that if you haven't noticed i think i do it in a lot of these shots love the colors in this a little bit cooler um editing than i'm usually doing usually i'd warm that up a little bit more but i actually quite like how that looked so these next shots coming up they're not street photography by any means um i just saw these pretty flowers and wanted to take a photo of them and i left it in because i like the colors i like my edit that's all I have to say about that. So yes, yeah, it's, it's getting fairly near to the end of the shoot. As I said, I wasn't wasn't out for very long at all. I just wanted to kind of dip my toe back into street photography because even though it hasn't been too long, I feel like my mindset hasn't been particularly great. It hasn't been as focused on street photography as it usually is. So it felt really good to be going out and shooting and I'm really happy I had such a positive experience with it and I feel like that's just because 85 millimeter for street photography is just such a magic combination I just love it you don't have to get too close you can really toy with that bokeh I just really like it so I wanted to take closer shots of these two people here but I wasn't feeling very courageous. I think if I'd done this a few weeks ago, maybe I would have even asked them for a street portrait, but you know, maybe next time I'll see them because I feel like they're there quite a lot actually. And I'll ask them for a street photo. But I saw this cart with some boxes in the market and I just, again, really liked the red and the bluey green of the market and just took this photo nothing special it's not pretty at all and i can't explain to you why i like it but i really like it <laughs> but that is it for today's pov session thank you again for everyone who entered the 1k giveaway and congratulations to the winner if you like this video then please go down below and give it a thumbs up it really helps me out and if you're not subscribed already then go and subscribe if you want to i'd love to have you on board and i'll see you soon with another video Remember, be authentically you and kind to others too. See you later.